Okay, I get so excited when I'm working with air dry clay. I got a brand new pack I just picked up at Dollarama for $1.75. This stuff works really well. And I'm gonna show you all kinds of different things that you can use in your house to add texture to your clay before you make your projects. I've got a basket right full of stuff, so let's get started. I've just taken off a piece of the clay, kind of flatten it out a little bit. I like to use these so I can have my clay all the same um, width. These are just wooden slats from a shutter that I like that width on them. It's perfect. Set it down beside your clay and when you roll, when it hits that wood, it won't roll it any thinner and you have a consistent width all the way through. First thing I'm going to show you, this is drawer liner from the dollar store and when you put it on your air dry clay and just roll it lightly, it creates the most fantastic texture in your clay. Look at that. Isn't that wonderful? The next thing that you can use for fantastic texture is a stencil. If you have stencils laying around in your, in your craft room, just set it down on the air dry clay and just lightly take your rolling pin over it and you have all kinds of beautiful texture in your clay. Do you have a doily in your house anywhere? Grab one and try this or if you're at the thrift store next time, pick one up because when you roll that into that clay, look at that. Gorgeous. I like to use twine to create texture. You can just weave it back and forth on your piece of clay and it can be close, it can be far away. And then just take your ruler and just roll up and down. And it leaves a really neat impression. And then I just like to use, I'm gonna make these all into little ornaments. I'm just gonna punch out a piece and you have really great texture on that. I had a bowl of dried oranges and you just wanna take it and you can just press it right into the clay. You don't have to press really hard, just enough to get an impression, pull it away and look at that. I'm gonna use my little cutter and just cut exactly where I want. Isn't that neat? Look through your pens and your pencils. This one has a really neat end. When you press it into the clay, it leaves a little circle with a circle in the middle, which is a really neat little texture. And you can also just roll it along. And the sides of it create a really neat texture. I'm just gonna cut those out. That one looks really neat. And then I'm gonna do a few more of these so the cutter will get a, a bunch of it in it. A couple more. And then I'm just gonna cut it out. And look at that. Another thing that you can use is a comb. And this one you can just kind of lay into the clay along as you go, push along into it. And it creates all these little lines. And I'm gonna cut that out. And that looks really neat. I had a leaf of a faux plant and they make really neat texture too. Just lay it down and just kind of roll it in a little bit. I'm gonna make a couple of these because it's got the vein in the back of the leaf that imprints really neat. Mm. 
and that's kind of a really different texture with that. I'm going to just punch out a little piece. Okay. I also had this piece of a faux plant and I think it'll look really impressive on this air dry clay too. And you don't have to be really precise. You can just kind of even be sloppy about it, but look at that. And then we're gonna cut out, I think I'll cut out a piece right here. There you go. Another piece of a faux pant that I found. I'm kind of rummaging all through my house and everything I look at, I kind of see the potential on how you can imprint your clay with it. It's, it's really fun. And this one, I'm just gonna roll it along and then peel it off. And that looks so amazing. And there, that one is cut out into a little ornament. Now, I've had this in my crafting stash forever. It's an actual roller with little flowers um, on it. And I'm just gonna press it in and it gives a really neat floral pattern. I'm gonna pick a area where I can get some flowers in to punch it out. Other things that you can use, forks and spoons. I love just taking the back of the spoon and just pressing it in and it just makes a really kind of neat indent into it. And you can go along and press it in. And you can kind of just imagine doing all of these air dried clay projects and using these uh, techniques to create some one of a kind pieces. And you can use the tail end of a fork and press it down. And this one's a spoon. And what's well, this one? It's a fork. Clothespins. If you press the clothespin down into the clay, it works really great too. Makes kind of a, a fun pattern in that clay. And then you can just punch out. That looks really neat. I love using stamps. This is a really cute one. It's a butterfly. And you can just press it right into the clay and you're left with a beautiful butterfly. This one's a couple of flowers. This one actually imprints really pretty. Just press it in lightly. And you can see the beautiful butterfly and the flowers. I'm gonna just cut out that butterfly. And then I think this one I'm going to do the leaves. And that looks really neat too. And this is just peel off sticky tape that I think I picked up at the um, dollar store of burlap and you can just lay it down on top and then just take your roller and roll it right in and it leaves that burlap impression on the clay. I'm just going to cut some of that out. Really neat texture. I have a wicker basket and I love this pattern right here. I can just take this clay and just kind of push it into that. And then you're left with a really neat pattern from that. I'm gonna take my punch. I think I'll cut this right here. And that leaves a really neat pattern on that. My glue stick, it kind of has an open circle on the bottom. It creates really neat texture too. You can just press it right into your clay. Any kind of pattern, you just kind of get creative. 
and then that's what you're left with. And you can just take my cutter, cut out a piece. It's fantastic. My most favorite thing to do impressions of is the faux greenery too. I'm just gonna just lightly, just kinda roll up and down on that. The more the better. And look at all that texture that you get just from that one little piece of greenery. And then you can just pick a spot where you wanna cut out the nice pattern. And you're left with that. Now I'm gonna turn these all into little ornaments. I just have a little tool it's just got a little circle on the end. Also have this tool that's really great for making little holes, but you can use a wooden skewer, you can use a straw and just make little holes in the top. So if you wanna put a little bit of twine through it, you can string it through. But you can see how you can just kind of go through your house and see what you have that you can create texture with and then make fabulous projects. I'm gonna let these dry, put a little bit of jute twine through them, and then I love to attach them to my Christmas presents or to birthday gifts. And they're kind of one of a kind and really personal. This has been really fun putting this video together. I love getting creative and finding all kinds of different things that you can create texture with. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, you'll probably really love this next one. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and we'll see you in the next video.